Okay, so let's take a look at all the parts of Bruce's live cover of Tom Waits' Jersey Girl from New Jersey 2023. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video because at the end of the video, we play through the whole song alongside a homemade backing track and you'll see Tab appear across the screen. Okay, so this song's in the key of D major. Tempo's quite a slow one, about 88 BPM. Let's take a look at the chords first. We've got a D5, first finger, second fret G, middle finger, third fret B. A major. Uh, so you bar the D string, the G string, the B string, middle four strings. So also, I think what's happening is he adds his middle finger to the third fret B. Um, just kind of creates this A sus four chord. Okay, but you're only gonna be strumming it from the D string. Okay, and then you've got a, a kind of G5, which you're gonna use at the end of the song. Okay, so third finger, third fret, low E, and then pinky there. Now, Bruce likes to stick with this hand position during the song, but you don't actually really need to. You just need your third finger. Uh, that's just more of just comfortable for him to rest it there. Uh, but you can just put your ring, uh, third finger there. Okay, block the A string. And then also you're going to be adding your middle finger on the second fret of the A. It's kind of like a partial G chord there. Okay, uh, and then we've also got a D over F sharp chord, which he kind of adds like this. Um, it just sounds brilliant. Okay, so it's that D5 chord. Add this third ring finger onto the fourth fret of the D. You've got a D over F sharp chord. So there are all the chords. What I'm also going to do is put the song structure up on the screen now. So hopefully that will help you break down all of the individual sections. Any chords in brackets mean there, means there's more than one chord in that particular bar. And don't forget, all the song structures will be in the description of YouTube video. So you can copy and paste it, put it in a Word file, and make sure you, you can learn it really efficiently. Okay, cool. So let's take a look at the intro first. So you've pretty much got this main theme going throughout. So these are all eight notes, so half a bit each. Uh, and what you're going to do is alternate picking one and two, so D, G, B, and then add that third finger so it creates that D over F sharp chord, and then do an upstroke down on the G, up on the B. I like to take that off just for convenience. Um, you can leave it on and then hit the D, G string and then the B string. So you've got this awesome riff one and two and three and four keep the third finger on, one and two and three and four and... Okay, uh, and this is a, we're gonna call that a D5 kind of riff that's in the song structure. So one and two and three and four, and make sure that, dun, 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 that that's kind of the main kind of melody that you want to cut through. So make sure those are quite loud. Even if you have to lower the other notes. Okay, so the intro is kind of talking to the audience, etc. So it's a little bit loose. He's doing two bars of D5. Then he's doing the same kind of pattern, but now with the A, so you're gonna hit the A. It's actually kind of more like an A5, but it's kind of resting there anyway. So A, then the D, G, and then add your third finger. So it's almost like an A over C sharp chord. One and two, and then ring finger, uh, 4th fret A, up, down, up, so A, D, and G, and then the D and G. It's the same picking pattern, really, just on a different set of strings. Oops, one and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. Once you've done those two bars, you're gonna do four bars of D5. Again, quite loose, he's kind of interacting with the audience. start singing okay uh, so this is now the first verse so we're going to do one bar of D5 two bars of the A riff okay and then back to D5 for two bars so those two A's and then the two D5s you're going to do twice Okay, so once you've done those twice, we're gonna now gonna go on to the kind of what we call the G riff, okay? So here, uh, you've got this just a ring finger there. You can rest that on there if that feels comfortable. Down, up, down. So you skip the A string here. So E, D, G, and then do an upstroke. So it's alternate picking, nice and organized on that B note on the A string. 
and then the D string. So it's one and two and three and four and E, D, G, A, D, G, D, G. Of course, that's the kind of the G riff or G5 riff, however you want to call it. Uh, and then you do that for two bars and then you go back to the D riff, two bars. <laughs> A riff, two bars. D riff, two bars. Okay, so that's the first verse. Again, okay, always double check the song structure uh, to help you out. Okay, uh, and now we're gonna go for the, uh, the second, third, and fifth verses. Now, what they are is actually just that full eight bars, the last eight bars of the first, ber first verse are the chords for the second, third, and the fifth verses. Be sure to do the fifth verse, that's when the whole band drops out a little bit quieter, okay? So you've got those two bars of G. And make sure you get the picking. And those kind of accented notes. Two bars of D5. A major, two bars. D5 riff, two bars. Cool, so now we're gonna do, now this next eight bar phrase is the, gonna be for the first, second and third breaks, the fourth and the sixth and the seventh verses, and also the chords behind the awesome sax solo from Jake, okay? Uh, and it's basically very similar to the second, third and fifth verses, it's just the kind of the final two bars, okay? So let's go through like that then. So majority of the sections are actually this eight bar phrase. So what you're gonna do, is G5 for the G major riff. And then D5. This is kind of when he does all the shalalas, and then A major. Now, this is what I can hear. It might be the other instruments confusing me, but split bar of D5. I'm gonna go down, up, down, up, D, G, B, G. Then do the ASOS 4. So split bar, one and two and three and four and. And then the D over F sharp, sharp, you're gonna go D, G, B, G, D, G, B, G. Okay? So apply, uh, so that's gonna be the first, second, third breaks, or the shalala bits, and the fourth, the sixth, and the seventh verses. Okay? So two bars of the G riff. Accent note. And then the split bar. Cool, so hopefully that helps quite a lot. So that's all those sections. And then the only difference is right at the end of the uh, how he ends the song. Okay, so it's the fourth break, some more shalalas. Start off as normal. G5. Oops. Two bars of G5. Two bars of D5, so start on the same. A major, two bars. Then he's kind of signaling to the band to stop and strum the D5, slows down here. One, two, and G5, or G. Three, four, and end on the D5. Cool, okay, so... Um, Yes, yeah, so Neil's is part as well, some nice kind of strumming there. If you get the tab either using your codes um, on the JS Music School, subscribe star codes on the JS Music School website uh, for the PDF, or if you get it in Guitar Pro format, uh, you'll be able to get Neil's strumming in there as well. So it's just some nice background sort of filler strumming in there as well. So any questions about getting the files and tabs and also the backing tracks as well. So they're all on jsmusicschool.co.uk, instant download to your computer, uh, and if you're a subscriber, so I get a bit more value for money and extra content on there as well. So any questions, happy to answer any. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications if you haven't already. Thanks for all your support. I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>
If you'd like to get guitar profiles, tab PDFs, backing tracks from any of these tutorials, head over to either the subscribe start page or my website, jsmusicschool.co.uk. Remember to subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications. Thanks very much. See you on the next one.